Hello and welcome to Stock Voyage. We're checking out this week's biggest trades from Wall Street Bets. We are starting off with an insane gain by Meme Lackey. He missed March 2020, but he caught April and May earnings 2022. He's up by 3,781% or $291,170.88. Just take a look at this beautiful chart. Some small bumps until his account went literally straight up. It almost looks photoshopped. He started off in April, when he bought a lot of Amazon puts expiring on April the 22nd and 29th. He continued buying puts on Amazon and calls and puts on Booking Holdings. And in little less than a month he managed to multiply his account 37 times and get it from around 7k to around 300k. Truly magnificent. Next up we have quite a big loss by Ken and 2 k one You all think my wife's boyfriend can pay for the losses if I let him f my wife? He is down by 99.14% or $30,369.56 in total. He's been buying lots of Roblox shares with margin and even one call on Roblox with an expiration date on May the 13th and a striking price at $28. The comments are just hilarious. Lat? She been f him without my permission. Always has been. <laughs> Not enough, he needs your cheeks too. One blowjob, take it or leave it. Anyway, next up we have an insane gain by SJ2428. He got lucky with this roller coaster ride with Spy. In just one day, he's up by 91% or $39,000. He bought 1,600 Spy call options with an expiration date on May the 13th and a striking price at $423. He hadn't planned to buy so many contracts. His initial entry was at 40 cents and the way Spy dipped he was gonna lose a lot so he started averaging his cost to reduce his loss and as we can see he managed to lower his average cost to 27 cents and I'm happy to see that he closed the contracts right after he took a screenshot. Next up we have a huge loss by Fish100. He's asking if this is how it's done. In the past 3 months he's down by 89% or $44,699.84 in total and is left with just $5,302.94. One of his recent losses is from call options on Bad Bath & Beyond. He bought 130 calls with an expiration date on June the 17th and a striking price at $20. Currently he is down by 34% or around 2.8k in total. Just to get break even on this position the stock would have to rise by more than 100% in the next month. I hope he somehow gets lucky and this stock goes to the moon. Next up we have a decent gain by Veloxi Sicarius. Even a blind ape finds a banana every once in a while. In the past month he is up by 395% or $9,878.51 in total. He's up by so much because he bought puts on QQQ, Tesla, Twitter and Meta platforms. And since the market has been tanking like crazy he made some nice gains. He's also asking if he should sell. Well if it's good enough to screenshot it's good enough to sell. Next up we have a loss by Snooty Window. In the past week alone he's down by 39% or $36,610.02 in total. He's down by so much because he sold puts and upstart. Both positions expired on May the 13th with striking prices at $70 and $60. And here comes the crazy part. In these two positions he's down by 761% which is possible since he sold puts meaning he can actually lose more than 100% feels bad man next we have yet another brutal loss trader by the name of jake tips put his last 62k in the stock market and in 16 months he turned it into 388 dollars with one of his biggest losses occurring on february the 5th of 2021 when he lost 13k in a single day his last open position is 24 call options on cloth with an expiration day on may the 20th and a striking price at four dollars and on this last position he is down by 99% or around 4.7k and it will most likely expire worthless but hey he still has 5 days and maybe just maybe a miracle happens next up we have a nice daily gain Trader by the name of Freeze Face just bought his first zero days to expiration options and it went pretty well. He's up by 309% or $10,960.65 in total. He bought 9 Google call options with a striking price at $2,355. He held them for 1 hour and a half and made more than 10k. And last but not least we have a huge loss by 
666 sauce. He's showing us his all time chart and asking if it's good. Well, he's down by 67% or around 40k in total. What surprises me the most about this chart is that he lost all this money without using options. But the chart looks like a typical options gambler chart. Well, luckily, he revealed in the comments how he managed to get himself in this situation. Well, the answer is quite simple he bought into Chinese tech. But a good thing about buying stocks and not options is that they could theoretically bounce back up and he gets break even. But that is it for today guys. If you want to see which stocks I recently bought, click on the video in the top left corner. But if you want to see even more losses from Wall Street Bets, click on the video in the top right corner. Someone even lost his ex-girlfriend's money. And if that is not enough, smash the subscribe button and press notifications bell down below, so you get notified whenever I post a new video. If you have any questions or recommendations, leave them in the comments down below and thanks for watching.